Good morning, good morning, we come back to a Sunday. And on this particular Sunday, we're keeping the Feast of the Presentation. I know that in the calendar of the church's life, this should be on February the 2nd. But once again, the church has transferred this back to the nearest Sunday, so that people can come, can rejoice in these events. And of course, with the presentation, we come to the end of the Christmas season. We've been thanking God for the many ways in which his Jesus was shown forth to the world at his birth and to the Magi and the other events. Now we come to the end of the Christmas season. And on this particular occasion, we remembered Joseph and Mary bringing the child now from Bethlehem to Jerusalem, a distance, by the way, of about six miles. They come there into the temple to give thanks to God. Mary was coming to give thanks for the safe delivery of the child. I mean, pregnancy and human birth can be very difficult for the mother. She was thanking God for the safe delivery of the child. You know, in the present day, with all our medical science, very often we can almost set this aside. But at one time, people used to always come to church after a birth to give thanks for what they had received. Now, very often, they just forget that. But God, Mary is here thanking God for this birth. They're also presenting the child in the temple and offering up the sacrifice of two turtle doves, a sacrifice which recognized the fact of a firstborn child, firstborn male child. This sacrifice was offered in the temple. And as they do it, a strange prophet comes into the temple, a man called Simeon. He had been told by God, somewhere in his life, that he would not see physical death before he had seen the Messiah. And when he comes in the temple and sees Joseph and Mary with his child, God speaks to him in his heart and he says, this is the one of whom I've been speaking. And he's overjoyed. No, they, they, G, Joseph and Mary hadn't gone to him and said, by the way, this is the one who was God has promised. Simeon recognizes it and goes and takes the child in his arms and says, Lord, now let us thou thy servant depart in peace. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all peoples, the light that enlightens the Gentiles and the glory of thy people Israel. So on all these points, we give thanks for the safe delivery of the child, for the presentation of this newborn child in the temple, and for Simeon's great prophecy over the child, that this was the one that God has set to be the light who enlightens all men everywhere. And yes, as we praise God for these great events, we look back on Christmas and all the things we've been thinking about since Christmas. We lift our voices and once again, of course, well, we have to praise. It is a wonderful day, a special Sunday, the presentation of Christ. In my daily um, talks up to this day, we've been talking about the Gospel of John. In the Gospel of John, we've been seeing that this Jesus was the one who would give life to all people. And him saying that unless you're born again, you cannot even see the kingdom. And that God wants to give his light to those who want to come to him and receive this light and this life from him. And the hymn I'm going to sing is simply the light of Christ. And yes, I need the spectacles. The light of Christ has come into the world. The light of Christ has come into the world. All men must be born again to see the kingdom of God. The water and the Spirit bring new life in God's love. The light of Christ has come into the world. The light of Christ has come into the world. God gave up his only Son out of love for the world, so that all men who believe in him will live forever. The light 
Church of Christ has come into the world. The light of Christ has come into the world. The light of God has come to us so that we might have salvation. From the darkness of our sins we walk into glory with Christ Jesus. The light of Christ has come into the world. The light of Christ has come into the world. As I just sang, uh, these words, some out, this line jumped out at me. From the darkness of our sins, we walk into glory with Christ Jesus. Oh, <laughs> that's something to thank God for. From who we are to who we will be, the process has started. Nothing can stop it. Glory to God. Amen.